Okay, so Pi News episode three, uh, what's been happening in the Raspberry Pi 4 world uh, at the moment. So if I click on my tab, first of all, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Jose. PyKiss has been, even in the last week, look, uh, we've had Dolphin Emulator, which I did do a video on, uh, Quake 2, which played amazingly well. Uh, I, I played that quite a lot on the Pi and really enjoyed it. Um, other things I was interested, Alien vs Predator as well. But yeah, check out his channel. PyKiss is just a super easy installer for Raspberry Pi 4, and I love it, and I check it all the time. It is great. Also, if we go to PyLab's website, uh, so to download Twister OS version 1.4 we're on now, uh, and uh, this just keeps getting better. Loads of things are added to it. The, the thing I particularly liked about it, and I'll just hit play, was that Windows 95 theme. Salvador released that before as a standalone operating system with a Windows 95 theme and it worked really, really well. And uh, it's really nice to see it in there, but there's all sorts of changes in here. So I recommend uh, if you haven't already got it, I did like the way that um, the wallpaper changed with the time of day as well. That was a really nice touch. Uh, so good work, Salvador. So I did a video quite recently uh, about my Pi Moroni fan shin and uh, the issue was the little tiny pins uh, weren't quite making a decent connection with the little holes. And I found a really great fix. Well, I got, I got suggested a really great fix. Uh, and this was uh, easy fix, jam an old SD card in between the GPIO pins long ways. And it, and it works, it works really well. Now, now to be fair, my Pimeroni fan shim is, is working. Since I did that fix, it's working fine and it hasn't stopped at all, uh, touch wood. But, uh, but I really do like that SD card fix. And to be honest, I would, I would use that SD card fix rather than putting my carbon conductive grease on there. Uh, a lot of people have kind of warned me away from that, but uh, I was pretty careful where I put it, so uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm worried about it. But yeah, what a great fix, because it doesn't look bad at all, uh, and, uh, and it definitely works. Next up, Tony from DeSalvo Systems uh, has released another Raspberry Pi uh, passive cooling case and this one looks great uh, the other one looked amazing as well but this one has got some holes on the top some threads on the top for adding things on uh, but there's also access to the GPIO pins uh, and uh, there's a bit more cooling as well so I'll be really interested to try that one out Tony's already sending one out to me in fact I got the email today uh, that he's he's giving me one to test uh, so I'm really pleased about that. Other things I'm getting given to try out, uh, I, I mentioned this WIO terminal in a previous edition. I have responded to them now, but actually what happened was they contacted me again and offered me an ice tower cooling fan. Uh, and I haven't tried any of these sort of uh, over the top fans for Raspberry Pi, some of these, these sort of bigger, more powerful fans. And, um, and I really think that looks interesting. Uh, definitely something that I, I think a lot of people will be interested in. I've also ordered from them because they, they basically did it by way of giving me a voucher to cover the cost of everything. Uh, and so I, I've got this Wio terminal and I'm not still not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I will definitely make a video out of it. The Ice Tower cooling fan, I'll have no issues making overclocking videos on that. I've already gone up to 2250. Let's see if we can push that a bit further uh, because we'll have this extreme cooling. So the next bit up is uh, this Raspberry Pi 4 printed tower case. And I thought this looked particularly good, especially as I'd had, uh, well, I saw this before I was offered this fan. Um, but yeah, what a case to put that fan in. And I like the way, so it's great for cooling, but it also means that the Pi is protected. Plus you've got all these connectivity on the back. I don't know what you do about SD card uh, because obviously the SD card slot's gonna be around here, um, but uh, but yeah, what a, what a nice looking case. I really like that. Uh, and I do like these sort of projects that people come up with uh, and various different ways of doing things. Anyway, so that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.